Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here, back with a new movie. The name of this movie is What if Naruto was the reincarnation of Hagoromo's son and yeah guys, it's an unscripted movie as well and shout out to Anime Master for this idea. And yeah guys, before continuing this, if you haven't then please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and without further ado, let's begin with our story. Our story begins at October 10th, night time in Konoha Gakure no Sato. As we see the QB materialize out of thin air just outside Konoha Gakure no Sato. As its killer intent befall upon the whole village, the civilians' shrieks of terror fill through the air as Shinobi reached towards the QB in order for stopping it before the destruction of their village. As the Shinobis under the command of Third Okage were trying to prevent the QB from moving near the village as they were praying that their current Hokage Minato no Mikaze arrived there to help them. And suddenly a huge toad with a sword in his hand arrived as he headbutted the QB as the QB was thrown away. It was the chief toad Gamabunta of the legendary toad summon. The shinobi cheered as they knew that their Kage has arrived at the battlefield. And there was a yellow flash near Hiruzen Sarutobi. Sorry I'm late. What were you doing, Minato? I hope you told me that everything was going fine, but how come the QB is here? No time to explain. I will tell you all later in the council meeting. I have to do something about that. He said, pointing towards the QB. Yes, you should. I do hope that Kamabunta can hold on for a little bit while, because from the looks of it, you're going to seal the Biju inside your own son, isn't it? Said. Hiruzen, putting the dots together. Yes, unfortunately, Kushina isn't in the situation where I can seal the Biju inside her again. It will destroy her chakra coils. <sighs> Go ahead, Minato, do this. We will prevent you the support up for all we can. Hi, Minato and Hiruzen nodded towards each other as Minato prepared the altar and laid the, his baby son there. His name was Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. He had tan skin. Three whisker marks on each side of his cheek, blonde hair, and blue eyes. And the moon was shining brightly that night as well, for some reason. As Minato started to prepare the seal on Naruto. After the sealing matrix was done, thanks to Gamabunta's headbutt, the QB was free from the genjutsu that was placed upon it, as its Sharingan eyes turned back to the slated ones that were before there. As the QB in charged towards the shinobi with rage, as Kamabunda poofed away after getting beaten and bruised badly to heal back at the Toad Mountain, as the QB turned towards the fourth Okage in anger, but paused as it sensed a calming, familiar chakra. As the QB said out loud, for everyone to hear, it can't be. What? One shinobi said, I thought it was a mindless beast. How, how can it talk? S Silence, Hiruzen said. He was too curious what the QB had to say out of nowhere. How come his chakra is here? I thought he was gone. QB calmed down and started to walk towards Minato. Everyone was on guard, especially Minato and newly arrived Kushina as her face was drained of her colors as she saw the Biju, her nightmare walking towards her son who was born there. She was going to beat the shit out of Minato for doing that beyond her recognition. But now she worried for her son's life as the Biju suddenly transformed into a giant hound-like creature with nine tails. Its size decreased rapidly. It was similar to Akamaru's size in Boruto. As it walked towards the child, as Minato was frozen and was too confused, as if his mind was shut down what to do. Then he came to realization that QB was near his son. And then something happened, then even confused the hardcore shinobis like Hiruzen and the clan heads and the elders. Yes, Koharu and Hamura were there. What is the QB doing? said Koharu. We do not know Koharu. We will find out something interesting tonight, said Hiruzen. 
I have a bad feeling about this, said Hamura. We have to find out. We have to, said Hiruzen. As we go towards Minato, as Kushina arrived near him, Minato. Kushina, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking straight. Yes, you weren't. And you have to allow it to answer to me. But not now. What do you want, QB, with our son? As QB finally got out of his stupider and glared at the two, two humans, you want me to seal back inside this human, right? As Minato nodded dumbly, fine, do it. I won't break or hesitate. Do it before I change my mind. As Minato was about to use the Hakai Fuyin, as Kushina slapped him on the back, why you idiot, he's going back in the seal willingly. And why are you going to use that seal? But, but Kushichan, what if he, what if he tries to manipulate Naruto as the QB growled, leaking all of his killer intent and focusing it on Minato? I won't. You don't have to worry about that. Just do what you have to do, Ningen. Don't make me repeat myself and change my mind. As Minato nodded and prepared the 8 trigram seal instead and sealed the QB inside Naruto. As we see inside Naruto's mindscape, the QB finally lay there in a lush forest. As it was an infant mindscape, hmm, it is the familiar chakra. So you really are back, Naruto, said none other than QB no Kitsune. As the moon shone brightly upon the child, as it was lifted up in Kushina's arms, as Kushina hugged the child tightly, as she cried, I'm sorry, Sochi, you, ha you have to bear this burden. Because of your baka father, she said as she started to walk away. Without looking back at Minato, she was mad. Kushinchan, don't. Don't follow me, Minato. As Kushina started to walk again, as Minato wanted to follow her, but he was taught by Koharu. You are needed, Minato. Your village needs you. I am sorry to see that your family is now in a bad situation, but the village needs their Kage now. As Minato sighed, hi. As Minato alongside the elders and clan heads arrived in the council meeting, where the civilians and Danzo were waiting for them. Where is the Jinchuriki Hokage? He asked towards Minato. What do you mean by that? Hiruzen asked. You don't hold any authority over Hokage, Danzo, or did you forget about that? We only gave you a honorary seat. You're not even an elder. As Hamura and Koharu nodded both behind Hiruzen, as Danzo gritted his teeth. He would have manipulated both of them if Hiruzen was still the Kage, and if his plan had worked all together. He was the one who leaked the information to the masked man where Kushina's birthing process will be taking place, and yet the plan failed. His perfect weapon, his chance to become a Hokage, has been taken from him. As he saw, fine. I was just curious, that's all. As the civilians were silent, he is sealed inside my son. Hokage-sama, said one of the civilians, who was wearing goggles. I heard from a shinobi that the QB willingly walked towards your son and said that it will be sealed inside of him willingly. We feared that the QB might manipulate the child, so it will be best to kill it. Are you out of your mind? Minato said. First of all, I will not hurt my own son. I can feel the QB was telling the truth. I am a censor, did you forget that? Heck, even Koharu Sama is censor. As Koharu nodded as everyone looked towards her, the QB was fortunately telling the truth. We did not know why, but it was telling the truth, that's for sure. But but it's the mighty nine tails, the incarnation of hatred. How come it suddenly is attached to a child who is Nonetheless, born two to three hours ago, said Mabuki Haruno. Haruno-san, I know that you're worried about the safety of the civilians, but fear not. The QB has agreed to cooperate with us, and I have sealed it within my son tightly, and I will be monitoring him and alongside my wife as well. As Kushina suddenly opened the door with a bang, and in her arms was her son. As she glared at the civilians, don't you ever think that I will let this slide, Mabuki, what you said. Our friendship is broken hereby. You and I are strangers. Kushina-chan, I, I didn't mean it like that. I was, 
I know what you were. You were afraid. You don't trust me, do you? You don't trust my judgment. Fine. I won't trust you from now on, Mibuki. As he, she looked towards the other civilians. If you ever so try to even break a single hair on his body, I will rip you to shreds alongside your family and castrate you all. And I will enjoy every second of it. Kushina, said Minato. Don't you dare say anything to me, Namikaze. I'm here to tell you that I'm divorcing you. Wait, Kushina, please. No, you knew. For an Uzumaki, family comes first. And we do not put our children in danger. You just put a huge mark on our son. What if that masked person come back, Minato? What then? He escaped willingly and you couldn't do anything about it. The mighty yellow flash of Konoha couldn't do anything. What, what would you do if he comes back? I, I will train hard, Kushina, please. Fine. I will give you one last chance, Minato, to make things right. If you don't, I'm gone with my own son. You don't have any right upon him. As Minato was taken aback by him, he didn't know Kushina was this mad. He knew he messed up, but this? Now he realized he was already under the water. He had to do something before he loses the love of his life and his family that he got. As the other people were quite surprised by this, as Tizunmi then said, Kushina, calm down. You don't have to be so rude. I mean, I realized that he made a big mistake, but you have to think about the whole village. The whole village can go fuck itself. He was trying to save these, these assholes who are suggesting that he should kill his own son. As the civilians looked down in shame, as Tizunmi didn't have anything to say, I do not trust you all. I hereby resign as a shinobi. And if you all ever so dare to even go near my son with a single impure thought, I will leave this village draining it every bit of it from all the Uzumaki knowledge, wealth, alongside the seals that hold on to your walls for your protection. As even Hiruzen's eyes were Kushina, please, you can't do that. It is a symbol that, that is an alliance with, with Konoha and Uzushi Ogakure. I know. I am the last alive Uzumaki of the royal bloodline, and so is Naruto. And that is that and that that threat it can just start a war between us if my nation was alive. Alone. As the civilians then realized they really fucked up there. They were thinking that they were high and mighty because of their power given to them. They didn't earn it. It was given to them by the authority of Hokage only because they had a significant role in the village. Nothing else. They were nothing special. And that kid that they were trying to blame was our of royal bloodline. Was the prince of a whole nation. An extinct nation. But the prince nonetheless. And if the daimyo who was a close friend of the Uzukage ever found this out. Well, let's just say the civilian council will be no more and their heads will be rolling on the floor. That's for sure. As Kushina walked out, I'm leaving. As Minato sighed, as he was on the verge of tears, Kushina knew what she did to her husband. She really loved the man, but she needed to make him realize just what kind of mistake did he make. He needed him to realize that he was saving these selfish people, nothing else. And that is why she didn't turn back. She also felt hurt when she saw Minato's look of a broken man on his face. But she needed to tell him the truth, nonetheless. After she left, the meeting went on. Danzo even more so gritted his teeth. He couldn't do anything about it. But the moon at the night shined brightly, so brightly that it illuminated the whole village, even in the dark. As up in the seal, Kaguya cried. Kaguya cried because her favorite grandson was alive. The only grandson, even after her death, she loved. Who realized that his father was in wrong, even if she was turning evil and did a mistake, he could have forgiven her, given her a second chance. And she even visited him in dreams. 
He was the reincarnation of Naruto Otsutsuki. Flashback. We go thousands of years ago as we see Hagoromo's wife giving birth to three children. The older one being Indra, the middle one being Asura, and the younger one being Naruto. As he was the only child named by his wife. Hagoromo still didn't know why his wife wanted to name him as a fish cake but nonetheless went along with her. As time passed, the children showed different characteristics. Indra showed that he was brutal and had the sharing gun that he possessed and had the power of ninjutsu as he could like to call it. As for Asura, he didn't have so much of a talent but he showed values of love and willingness to forgive. As for Naruto, he forgave everyone. He loved family. He only gave love. He was selfless. Nothing more. Heck, he even forgave his own mother. His grandmother, actually. He was quite surprised by that. As one night after Hagoromo had this talk about how their grandmother was sealed on the moon and what he and his uncle their uncle did, Naruto told him that they did the wrong thing. And not only that, they should have forgiven their grandmother. As Hagromo then asked, why do you think we should do that, Naruto? She was killing so many people. But father, you could have convinced her. Don't you think we tried, son? We did. But she didn't want to listen. You could have at least kept her here so we could have met her. Maybe she would have changed of heart. As Hagoromo suddenly felt the chakra of his mother as he said that they should go to bed. End of the mini flashback inside of the flashback. As you see Naruto sleeping, laying on his bed, he couldn't sleep. His father's word couldn't go out of his mind. How could he do that to his own mother and their grandmother? Heck, he always wanted a grandmother. He saw his friends that lived as a clan now with them who could use also chakra alongside them that that had grandparents he wanted one but he knew he couldn't as suddenly a black figure a blonde like figure appeared from the ground are you naruto otsusuki uh yes who, who are you naruto asked a little bit cautiously i am zatsu i am your uncle huh but father never mentioned that he had other brother Aside from Hamura, I was created by Kaguya Otsusuki. I am her will. Oh, you mean your grandma's will? Interesting kid. Zetsu thought, yes. And she wants to meet you. Would you like to meet her? Um, yes. Good. Now lay down on the bed. I will perform a seal. You will be awakened or your spirit will be awakened inside the seal in which she is sealed in. Okay, Naruto said, I'm trusting you on this uncle. Naruto said lying down. Hmm, nice kid. As Zetsu performed the hand seals and Naruto was off in a dreamland. As he suddenly woke up with a jolt, but it was somewhere else as he saw a white pale figure with two horns and white hair sitting there. As Naruto said, wow, um, excuse me, Naruto said, um, uh, are you, are you my, yes, Naruto, I am your grandmother, my name is Kaguya Suzuki. She didn't expect what happened next, Naruto bolted and hugged her as Naruto rubbed her face on her stomach. I always wanted a grandfather figure or grandmother figure in my life. I didn't knew I could meet you like this, grandma grandma as she hugged the child back she didn't knew when they started to spend time together but from then on they usually did whenever Naruto was asleep in the night time he was he would spend time inside his grandma's seal and soon Kaguya knew that Naruto was growing up on her and she loved every bit of it she loved spending time with him hearing about his days and about what her sons were doing. Kaguya almost had a change of heart 
almost until a tragedy struck again. On the birthday of 20th for Naruto and his other two brothers, they had a fight. Asura and Indra had a fight. Naruto went in between to prevent that fight from occurring as both charged their big attacks. As Indra charged a lightning jutsu in his Susano while Asura charged a three Rasengan in a bigger Rasengan and threw it at Indra as Naruto was in center of them. As both of their eyes were, Naruto, what are you doing? Indra said. Get out of the way, Naruto, said Asura. As Naruto, when the light died down, was turned into charcoal as he vanished, as if he never existed. The bee juice. Heck, the, even the moon that night shone red, showing that it was feeling sorrow and hatred towards the children, giving them a curse, curse of hatred between them, as their generations will fight and shed blood for all the eternity to come. And that did occur, and so started the period of the warring between the clans, mainly the Uchiha and the Senju clan. But Naruto, his soul was nowhere to be found. Kaguya's only hope that she found was gone, and Bijus, after the death of their father and their brother, were left unattended by both of the other brothers, Asura and Indra. And as time passed by, they went from being sentient beings to nothing less than tools just to gain more power and chakra. But Kyuubi, after so many years, was feeling peace. And so was Kaguya, happy that her grandson was finally back. And she now held hope that she might be able to turn good this time and might be able to protect him from the hatred that she caused upon this world in her anger of losing him. And so she told Zetsu of what was occurring. End of the flashback. As we go towards the Akatsuki hideout, as Zetsu felt something, it was the mother. It was his mother's chakra. As he moved outside, after giving them some kind of an excuse, what is it, mother? Zetsu, Naruto is born again inside that village. You mean Konoha, mother? Yes, the woman. The woman that was the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails. Yes, mother. She and her husband seal the biju inside their own son and that boy has the same chakra as Naruto. Even the Kyuubi felt attraction towards it. Mother, I know what to do. If he's back then I will surely protect him this time. Yes, change of plans. You will not free me. I will or my grandson will free me while you protect him. Yes, mother. My seal is weakening, son. You do not have to worry about that. What about the Agarsky, mom? What should I do about them? Let them be, but protect Naruto at all cost. If the world shall burn in order to protect him, then so be it. On the other hand, in Uchiha clan compound in the same night, Mikoto Uchiha gave birth to twins. Kiyomi Uchiha and Sasuke Uchiha. As Itachi was quite surprised, he knew he was going to have a brother, brother but a sister as well. He was feeling blessed and happy that night. After this catastrophe ended, it as if the Kami was giving him a present for surviving it with patience and perseverance. As he lifted up his sister in his arms and hugged her closely. I will protect both of them, Kachan," little Itachi said towards his mother as his mother giggled as Itachi blushed and looked away with a pout. As he saw that his father came inside, Mikoto, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, Fugaku-kun. Meet your children, Kiyomi Uchiha and Sasuke Uchiha. What? You already named them without me? You already decided the name of our son, so I went ahead and decided the name for our daughter. Well. Fair enough, said Fugaku. And from then on, time passed by. Naruto was 
very much liked in the whole village, even after the civilians brought it out that he held the QB. Not even talked to the QB and his new friend that he called Zetsu. His parents thought that it was his imaginary friend, but unknown to them, it was his, reincar his reincarnated soul's uncle. Zetsu confirmed that it was indeed Naruto. He held that warm, bright chakra. His personality even matched him. Naruto was a happy-go-lucky kid with a bright personality, but he gained some kind of quirks from his birth mother as well. He was a hell of a prankster, that's for sure. He loved pranking, and Kaguya even laughed at some of them. On the other side, in other realm, the sage of the six path, Hagoro Motsuzuki, who was meditating, eyes widened. It can't be. How did it slip me, past me? He, he's back, he said with a smile. My son is back. You do not know, son. He saw, looking at the Nar Naruto that was reincarnated, how much I waited for this. How long I searched for your soul in this plane. I couldn't find it. After finding out that you died. But their soul is also reincarnated. I hope they will be able to resolve their hatred this time. Yes. Indra and Asura were reincarnated as well. Kyomi was the reincarnation of Asura, while Indra's reincarnation was none other than Sasuke Uchiha. But they only held chakra, no soul, while Naruto held the soul as well and its characteristics alongside the chakra. As we see Naruto at the age of 10, he was laying in his bedroom when he heard a knock. Nay, nay, Naruto-kun, open the door. Yeah, Dobe, open the door. We've been waiting here for so long. As suddenly the door busted open. It was Kiba who bursted the door open. If you're not going to open the door, man, we're going to break through in. Oh, come on, guys, I'm feeling sick right now. Can't you be more considerate? Naruto said, as he was having a fever. He didn't know why, but he was having a bad day and a fever and feeling tired. A lot of tired. His mother said it was because he used too much chakra when he unlocked it yesterday. As we see, it was none other than the Uchiha siblings Kyomi and Sasuke Uchiha. Even though they were twins, they never got along and always fought with one another. And sometimes when things got serious, either Naruto, their mother or their brother Itachi will prevent them from going any further of harming each other. As for the other one, they were Choji, Shikamaru and who other than Kiba and his Ninkan Akamaru. And Akamaru jumped from Kiba's head and into Naruto's lap. Matako Nakamaru. Sometimes I really think that Naruto is your partner, not me. As Naruto chuckled alongside the rest of them. As Kyomi and Sasuke were still glaring at each other. Oh come on guys, stop glaring at each other. Kyomi-chan, you will get wrinkles like that. And Sasuke, your hair will fall off if you, is, if you remain angry always. As both of them twist an eyebrow, but Kyomi blushed. Do you think I'm pretty like this, Naruto? Yes, you are. You will. I mean, you're you're very pretty, Sasuke, uh, Kyomi chan. As after that, they had a huge laugh until Naruto's mother came and gave him his medicine. After that, his friends left. And that was the day he met his grandmother of a sword from past life. As Naruto's eyes opened inside a different plane. When he fell asleep, where am I? It was a huge lush field where he saw a QB sitting there only with a neck band that held kanji for seal. Hello Naruto, it's good to meet you. Huh, a giant fox with nine tails with pretty orange fur. Hmm, it is a nice dream. As QB chuckled, you really think my fur is pretty? Hmm, you really are his reincarnation kid. Um, oh, um, I'm sorry, uh, is this real? Naruto said, yes, as Kyuubi's tail swirled around Naruto's face, it is real. Can't, you can touch me if you want to. I am pretty much real. As Naruto touched the floof of his tail, wow, your fur is really soft. It can be hardened when I'm in a battle and can be used as a sword. Whoa, wait. I know, you're the Nine Tails Biju, right? Kurama. 
What? My name is Kurama. And only you can remember that and cannot tell anybody, not even your parents. Uh, okay. Promise? Yes, promise. Good. As then Naruto and QB started to talk with each other. And Naruto was already going to academy, so he almost completed his academy for the coming next three years. And as for his grandmother, she only watched. She didn't meet him. She wanted to meet him that night, but the QB interfered. She gritted her teeth, but watched the interaction while giggling. Her grandson was so cute. She wanted to pamper him this in this lifetime as well and keep him safe. And Zetsu was making sure of that, that the Akatsuki were focusing on the other Bijus and on the Ninetale one. Currently, he knew when the time came, he had to betray the whole Akatsuki. But he didn't know how. He had gathered them as per his mother's wishes, but it was too late to back out now. His only hope was that Naruto was strong enough to defeat them all. All of them. And he hoped to tell him that when he raged at the age of 15, because that was the longest he could hold them off. He knew about that for sure. As we see the white Zetsu talking to the black one, as he saw Naruto sleep from a tree, what do you think? How long will we be able to protect him like this? I do not know, said the black one to the white side. But it is the mother's order, and he's finally back. You know, last time when we lost him, it will not happen again, said the black one, cutting the white one in. I promise you this much, and I promise mother, I will not let anyone break a single hair of him from his body. I will shred them into a bloody pulp and mince if that occurred. You're right, we will protect him this time. We will not let the previous mistakes occur again. And time did pass by again and Naruto had finally graduated from the academy and he was placed in a team known as Team 7 with Sasuke Uchiha and Kyomi Uchiha. Sakura dropped out because her chakra was soulless and she failed because of her team that went to do the test. And her mother finally agreed that she should drop out because of her fangirlish behaviors. It honestly brought quite disrespectfulness towards the clan, even though it was a civilian clan. Other than that, Naruto was happy that he was with his two friends. Kyomi especially was very happy. She latched onto Naruto's arm and Sasuke wanted to have a chat with Naruto and spar with him sometimes. <sighs> Why can't you let him go, you idiot? So I can spar with him. Oh yeah, just go and cry to mama, baby. We have the same mother, Kyomi, says Sasuke with a deadpan. So what? I don't like you one bit, even though you are my twin. Sometimes it disgusts me to no end that I'm related to you. And Sasuke's eyes narrowed. You wanna go? Guys, guys, calm down. If things are like this, we're not going to pass the test. What do you mean? Said both of them as they raised an eyebrow. From the looks of it, our sensei is obviously Kakashi Nisan. Correct, Naruto, said a voice as he suddenly appeared in a puff of smoke. The figure had silver hair and a mask on his face and a Norwegian monk in his hand. <sighs> Hello, Kakashi Nisan. Hello, Naruto. And my first impression of you all, you're qu you two are quite boring. You are okay in my books, Naruto. Just please don't tell your mother that I read this book. Naruto suddenly gained a cruel smirk on his face. Hmm. Thanks for giving me an idea. As Kakashi face pumped. Really. I just dug my own grave. Yeah, you really did, Nissan. But please do tell where were you. Well, you know, where I where was I? Kakashi opened up to Naruto when Naruto was at the age of twelve, one year before his graduation. Where he usually spent his time. Actually it was Naruto. After pranking his father once again by painting his statue with an idiot old man with orange paint, he went on to hiding as his father was searching him through the whole village to finally punish him or some sort of like that. As Naruto arrived in the graveyard where he saw Kakashi, his Nissan, that is where Kakashi opened up who or why was he there to meet. Why was he there and who was he there to meet? It was his dead teammates. Naruto 
they knew he left such an impression he told him that he should moved on they didn't they, sh they wouldn't want him to be like this and he didn't have to bear the whole burden and he didn't have to feel like a failure everybody make mistakes no human is perfect as Kakashi realized that all this time he was blaming himself when he was not at fault he tried his best and yet he couldn't save them and his friends wouldn't want him to be sitting here and mopping on their graves like that Naruto was telling the truth heck he was surprised that he a 20 year old Jonin couldn't see that while a 12 year old kid could he thanked Naruto with an eye smile and left to get him a treat of ramen from Ichiraku's as Naruto cheered end of the flashback as we go back to the classroom where Kakashi told them after the introductions where to meet and what the test shall be as we see Naruto, Kyomi and Sasuke walking outside of the academy Nay nay Naruto-kun why don't you come back to our house yeah it'll be awesome Naruto what you say says Sasuke he's not going there with you I'm the one who invited him says Sas Kyomi gritting her teeth looking at Sasuke so what he's my best friend He's my best friend too, as there was a tug of war starting between the two siblings as Naruto sighed. Come on guys, stop it. You, you know what, I'm not going your home, I'm going home. As Naruto said, having enough of them, they always fought, as both of their eyes were. What do you mean? Naruto, said Sasuke. Are you ending our friendship like this? Nar Sasuke asked. No, I'm not. Are you an idiot, Sasuke? Why would I do that? You two are my best friends. but. Even though you are siblings and twins, you always fight like that. That you are enemies of some sort. Can't you stop that for a moment? If one of you get hurt, I feel hurt. As both of their eyes widen. What do you mean? Look, I care about both of you. As you know, I don't have any siblings. My mother, she can't give birth to any other child if she, even if she wanted to. I went with her to the doctors. They said this to her and she cried that night. You should be you should feel honored and be go be good to each other because you have each other to rely on. I don't have anyone aside from my parents and my friends. No sibling behind me to get my back whenever I am in trouble. But you have us Naruto, said Kiyomi. I know, that is why I love you guys. And Whenever you are angry at each other or try to hurt each other, it hurts me to see you like this. That is why please don't do this anymore. I'm going home now. Please, don't follow me. As Naruto went home, as Sasuke and Kyomi walked back silently. As after reaching the clan compound gate, they said, You know, Kyomi, the dobe is right. We do always fight each other and always are at each other's neck. Even though we are siblings and twins nonetheless. You're right, Sasuke. But I don't know. I guess I really don't like your face. <sighs> there you go again. You really have to start over, all over again, don't you? Yes, yes I do. But I promise you this much. At least for Naruto-kun's sake, I will try my best to avoid any conflicts with you. Deal? Deal. As Itachi said, What do you mean, conflicts? As both of them flinched, Uh, Nissan, n nothing, nothing, said Sasuke. As Itachi glared at them with his sharing gun on, holding his hands with a frown, You have to tell me everything, or I will go back to Naruto-kun's house and ask him myself. As both of them gulped and came inside to their home, where they were inside Itachi's room. As Sasuke began to tell that they had a fight coming here, Naruto had enough of them. And he left. Itachi sighed. Kyomi, tell me honestly. You love Naruto, don't you? Kyomi blushed madly, even more badly than Hinata. Y yes, Nisan. But 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 how do you know? I can see it in your eyes. And as for you, Sasuke, you think of him as your brother, as your best friend, person you can rely on, don't you? Yes, Sasuke said. And you don't want him to get hurt or feel him make him feel sad right yes both of them said then why don't you stop fighting with each other that is all he asked 
nothing more, nothing less. And plus, it will be good between you two, and he wants to improve your relationship. Isn't that the good thing a friend would want for his best friends? Dachi asked. I know, Nisan, but whenever I see this dope's face, it always pisses me off to no end for some reason, said Kyomi to Sasuke as he touched his side. Well, yeah, you wanna go, huh? Sasuke said, Sasuke, Kyomi. They heard their mother's voice as Dachi gulped. Oh boy, they pissed off the ice queen of the Uchihas. Good luck, little siblings. You two were foolish. And now you shall pay the price. As when they looked towards their Nissan, he was gone. Nissan? Traitor! Kyomi said. As Sasuke then saw his mother figure walking inside, she had her face covered with her hair as her red sharing gun blazed behind it, giving her a terrifying look as their screams filled throughout the whole compound that day. As on the other side, that night, Naruto went to sleep. He wanted to talk to Kyuubi, but this time he woke up in different mindscape. Wh where am I? And suddenly he was clumped into a hug by a woman from the looks of it from behind. Finally, he saw that the woman was crying. He could feel tears that fell on his cheek. After so many years, I have you back, Naruto kun. Um, uh, I'm sorry, but who are you? Here. You will remember now, as she tapped two times on his forehead as his memories started to flood in, the memories of his past life. Grandma, Narada said with a smile as he hugged her back, it's good to see you. As she suddenly bonked him on the head, Itai, what was that for? Young man, do you know how worried I was? I couldn't trace your soul or your chakra for all these years. and. You know your grandma did something bad alongside your uncle Zetsu. What? What what do you mean bad? Last time I checked you were good and you promised you will never do that again. He gasped. Did you hurt someone again? No, at least not yet. But I did manipulate it kind of a lot of people into forming an organization that are going to hunt down the Biju soon. Grandma, come on! Really? Again? Matakon, what I'm going to do with you? Oh, come on, it's all your fault, young man. Don't tease your elders. You know how much worried I was? After everything, you understood me, even, even more than my own sons, my own blood. But grandma, aren't I your blood? Nard said with a hearted look on his face. No, you are, but I was quite surprised that you were the one, only one in my whole family that stood by me by my side in my support for all my actions you saw through them and see that i was the one who was hurting because of your grandfather yes i know he was a big prick but yeah if i have to i would have forgiven him but after what he did and my reincarnation into this body and thanks to this tendencies to do a lot of pranking I do not think that I can hardly do that because I'm now from another clan, Grandma, an Uzumaki clan, and they put everything behind and family at first. Their protection, their safety is their first priority. As Kaguya smiled, Minardo hugged her back. It's good to have you back, son. It's good to be back, Grandma. As both of them hugged each other, as Kaguya cried, and that night the moon. Sh shone brightly upon the whole elemental nations as every Jinchuriken Biju felt that what is she doing she's she's happy is he back Be these were the only thoughts the Bijus has yes the every Biju knew what Naruto did and kept a promise with him that they wouldn't tell his father nor his brothers even though they knew somehow that he met with her. At first, Hagoromo was cautious about their meetings, and so were the Bijus and his siblings, but after a month or so, they realized that their mother only wanted to talk. Hagoromo realized that she might be feeling lonely, but because of his guilt, that he was the one who put her there, he couldn't go there to meet her himself. 
time went on from then on as Naruto usually spent time with his uncle Tetsu and his grandma alongside his Biju and went on missions as well. As after returning from the Land of Waves mission in which Naruto subdued Gato and everyone else not killing them, giving them another chance but stripping them of all of their rights and powers and sending them to prison so that they could turn a new leaf but giving them a second chance he returned back a hero and with a tree tree in hand from the land of waves and the Chunin exam certainly was announced upon them. Naruto and his team agreed and Naruto frowned when he re when he remembered that in Chunin exams it was allowed to kill. He had to prevent as many deaths as he could and he was going to make sure he did that because the power that he held in his previous life was now at his disposal as well alongside Kurama's whole chakra and his Otsutsuki's powers and his Uzumaki genetics alongside his father's chakra and his own. Naruto has already mastered and made 8 different variants of Rasengan, much to the surprise of his father and even taught a one to his own father, Lava style Rasengan, made out of the fire chakra and the Rasengan merging together. And time passed on, the first two exams went as in canon, the second exam was quite tough in which Naruto and his team had to face Orochimaru but Naruto subdued him or almost subdued him before he escaped as Naruto was spending hardly before he fainted because he used his divine chakra for the first time that day and his teammates dragged him back towards the center tower where they met their sensei Iruka from academy as Naruto was brought to infirmary it, it was already Two days left for the second exam to end and after that preliminary exams were started. It all went as in canon but this time instead of Hinata it was Kyomi who got badly hurt by Sa by none other than he uh, what was his name? Neji Hyuga and Naruto was pissed at him and vowed that he will get Kyomi's wrench. He didn't know why but he felt attracted to her. He wasn't going to lie as time went by Kyomi was growing much more feminine and beautiful in every right and Kyomi had too was having a hard time controlling her feelings for Naruto and at that time Naruto knew he loved her and he had to do everything in order to get her revenge even though he hated the idea so much that he didn't want to do it at one point but he did and after one month of training with his godfather who was a damn pervert he found out and his grandmother, even his Biju and his uncle Zetsu weren't quite happy about it. Heck, even his own birth mother wasn't happy about it. But his father wanted him to train with him so he complied with his wishes. Even going against the word of his grandma and his grandma said that she was mad at him for a whole month and that is what happened. Kage didn't talk to him for a month. Naruto brought some cinnamon buns to her as an apology. Yes. He really brought food for her thanks to the Funjutsu he was learning. He could bring physical food inside his mindscape. Don't ask how, he just did. And he presented it to his grandma and she loved every bit of them and said, oh, I can't stay mad at you as she glomped him into a hug, a bone crushing one. Grandma can't breathe. Shush young man, let your grandma hug you. It's been a month already since I've seen your face. You know, I was feeling lonely. I promised you, Grandma, I'm going to find you a, find a way to bring you back. Naruto, there is one way. You and QB can break me free, but your father from the past life won't like it. Um, when the time comes, we'll pass that bridge as well, Grandma. I'm going to free you after the tuning exams end. As after the month ended, Naruto and his team arrived again, this time separately inside the hall where the exam was taking place. As this time, it was time for the final round of the Chunin exams. Every round went as in canon as Naruto had won his fight and it was time for him to fight against Gara. as his other teammate Sasuke who was training with his sensei Kakashi was late. As when he arrived, Sasuke said, Naruto? Wasn't it my fight? 
yeah, you kind of got disqualified. What? Oh my god, mom's gonna kill me! Ha! Dope! What do you think is going to happen? Kajan's more than pissed off. Heck, even Itachi and Isan and Tochan is pissed off. As Sasuke looked at the crowd to see the Uchiha family sitting there as his mother was glaring at him. So was his father. Little pissed off, but his, his Nissan was glaring at his sensei, who was rubbing the back of his head and sweating. <laughs> Sasuke, uh, I had something I remember I need to do, as he managed. D don't leave me here, sensei. Oi, dope, you gotta help me out here. As Naruto then said in a prayer manner. Dear God, forgive my friend, my best friend, my brother, Sasuke Uchiha. May his path to heaven be good and less painful. Oi, I'm not dead yet, dope. As everyone's sweat dropped at that. But you will be soon, Sasuke. You pissed off the wrong women and your father. To be honest, I would be scared and shitting my pants too. Young man, you're in deep trouble. No ramen for one month. Oh, come on, Ka-chan. I didn't do anything. It was Sasuke's fault. Dobe, you and me are going to settle this once this is over. You can have your fight now. As Sasuke walked towards his family with a gulp, as his legs were shaking, Nay, Tochan, I can explain. Sit down, Sasuke. I'm not mad at you. Really? Yes, I'm not mad at you. I'm quite glad that you didn't have to fight that San Jinchuriki. J Jinchuriki? Yes, that kid is a Jinchuriki. What about Naruto then? Kyomi said. That is why your mother is focusing so she could look for any kind of opening so she could throw a sandbone at him to neutralize him some bit. But won't it get him disqualified? No, your mother's sandbone are those that can disappear in thin air. They're more thinner than a hair. Really? Kachan, you never told me about that. As Mikoto smirked, you never asked you, Michan. How about I tell you that after we're done? As both Sasuke Itachi, alongside their father, shuddered at the thought. N no, honey, please don't. Oh, shut up, Fugaku. You don't know shit. I will teach her that. And... Naruto and Gara started to fight, but during their fight, Gara was surprised because Shikaku more violently said he wanted to get out, but not for blood. He was saying being be cautious and do not even put a scratch on this child. Why was his mother acting like this? Gara was confused about this. As Gara suddenly stopped, mother wants to talk to you. What? My mother. She wants to talk to you. Um, where is she? As Naruto looked towards the stands, she's here. He said, looking towards his head. Um, I'm sorry, I can't see her. On the other side, the Sunanins were quite surprised by this and were shocked about this revelation. Their Jinchurigi, the Mad Gara, the mass murderer, was was talking to someone and nonetheless. This kid from Konoha, and not only that, Shukaku was interested in this kid, which terrified them to no end. Heck, even the fake Kazekage, Orochimaru was quite surprised as Gara soon started to disappear and the one tail was formed. As Kabuto asked for a signal from Orochimaru, but Orochimaru said him to wait. He wanted to see what was occurring in front of him. He was quite curious. He really wanted to find out what was going on here, and so did everyone else. Hmm, your chakra, Shikaku said after sniffing near Naruto. Are you Naruto? How do you know my name? As suddenly, Naruto's eyes turned red with slits. What do you want, Tanuki? Naruto said with a heavy voice. As everyone was on guard, they now knew that it was Kyuubi who was talking. You damn idiot perverted fox! You were hogging him all this time! You could have told us through the mental link that he was back. Oi, you really have to tell his identity to every one of them? Now everyone was more curious. What was Naruto's identity that even the beaches were hiding? And what was the QB hiding? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. Why don't we go and talk outside? As the Biju wrapped around the 
cubified Naruto as both of them disappeared from the stand, earning them both a disqualification and ending the match with a tie. As the preliminaries finally, I mean the tuning exams finally ended. But the Suna Shinobis alongside Konha Shinobis and Naruto's family members arrived near the Bijus as they were talking to each other. As they couldn't hear what was going on as the barrier was erupted around them thanks to Zetsu. As he too appeared in front of them. What are you doing here? said QB. I am here at her wishes. She wanted him to be protected. I can protect him just fine. Where was she when last catastrophe occurred and he died? Because of their mess, they are too reincarnated as well. But only their chakra. His soul is intact. I know you knew that, QB. Why are you hiding that from other Bijus? And he promised that he will free her. Why would he do that? Why will he bring her back? Who we'll tried to manipulate us? You know his personality. He's a selfless person. He forgives others. Always tried to find good in other persons. I know. He always tried that, even with you, who's nothing but a puppet to her. Don't you dare disrespect my mother, QB. I have a name given to me by him. You shall interest me as such, because you know of it. As the Zetsu smart, <laughs> in your dreams, the Akatsuki are coming for him, mainly for you. After he died, she put a plan in motion. She wanted me to gather strong shinobis and gather you all up so she could be freed. And I finally found one. Let me guess, Madara Uchiha. And he set things for the future to be set in motion. Yes, and hence Akatsuki was formed. Or corrupted Akatsuki was formed. I see. So they will be after him or me to be spe specifically to be speaking of. Yes. And you do know that if you're extracted from him, he will die. As QB growled, thanks to you and her nonetheless, we didn't knew he was alive. We couldn't even find his chakra. She searched in afterlife. In whole universe, she couldn't find it. And out of nowhere, this child is born with his soul chakra intact. We do not know what was the reason, but he's here now, and that all it matters. As Chicago then said, can I talk now? Yes, Chicago, you can, said Zetsu. You damn idiot fox, you fucking bitch, you could have told us. Oi, I'm genderless, you forgot. Yes, but you always hog on to him. Hog on to him. Makes me wonder if you really have chosen a gender and decided to become a vixen. You wish. I remain genderless because it is my own choice. What about you, Shikaku? Still same, genderless, I presume. Yes, we all are. You know for that. Aside from Matutabe. Yes, she was the only one who chose a female gender because of her feline tendencies. And she will be damn pissed at you. We all felt his chakra two to three years back. We thought it was just some sort of dream or miscalculation but we didn't know for sure i will tell them all you won't you will not tell them he is safe with me i will protect him you are just trying to walk over him again kurama you know that you want a war we will give you one bring it on i will all bring you down because i'm the strongest you forgot i will bring her back and she will put a leash on all of you if you don't stop as Naruto then says stop it all of you uncle please I promise you that I will bring her back Krama Shikaku you don't have to do that it's nice to meet you Shikaku Naruto said as his eyes were that of Byakugan now Naruto Osasuki was awoken this time N Naruto Shikaku said as a tear ran down as the Tanuki turned into his Chibi form as it hugged Naruto, latching onto him, as everyone's jaws drop on the outside. Why the fuck is Shikaku hugging that kid? And what's wrong with his eyes? I I is that By Byakugan? said Hiyashi, cutting Tamari and Kankuro off with their conversation. I, I didn't know about that, said Minato. Neither did I. 
as after that they heard that they were talking in the seal and Chicago was crying. After that, the barrier broke down as the plant-like creature went away. Ashra was looking at it with narrowed eyes. As he looked towards Naruto, Naruto? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I am Naruto, but I'm not your son. Uh, I am the one who he reincarnated into. My name's Naruto Otsuzuki. Nice to meet you. My father was Hagoromo Otsuzuki, the Sage of the Sixth Path. As he looked towards everyone as the jaws dropped. Wait, you mean you're the... Oh my god, Kushina passed out. Uh, sorry about that, he said looking towards Minato. Then why do you merge now? Well, why wouldn't I? My two siblings are here, he said pointing towards Shikaku and his stomach. You mean the QB and Shikaku are your siblings? Yes, they are the children of the Sage of the Six Path himself, alongside me and my siblings. R really? We, we didn't knew about that. Yes, they all are sentient beings. Not chakra batteries. I I see. But we, we, we never realized of that stuff. Hmm. Figures. Because you were kept away from this knowledge. Because the clan after I died, my brothers, they kept most knowledge to themselves. And... At the end of their time, due to the warring era, all of the knowledge was burned, destroyed. Nothing was left there, so you wouldn't know. I I see. Naruto, I want to ask you one thing. That Venus flystrap person, Zetsu, he is the part of an organization that are after the Bijus. What do you have, a connection with him? He is my uncle. What? What do you mean, your uncle? Your uncle wants to hurt you, do you know that? Well, uh, how should I explain this? How about from the beginning, said Jiraiya. It's a long story, we got time, said Sasuke. Really? You really remind me of my own siblings, both of you. <laughs> I guess that is why he's attached to both of you. What do you mean? Well, oh really? He said suddenly. He's talking to me and begging me not to tell you about his true feelings. Mainly towards you, female Uchiha. I will respect my reincarnate wishes and won't do that. This is the only time I'm appearing here. I will merge with him after this. He will have my knowledge, my memories. As well. As well as my dojutsu. The Rinne Sharingan. And Tensegan. I have both. In one eye each as both the Uchiha's and the Yuga's jaws drop you have our maxed out dojutsu well yes my father was the seat of the sixth spot as Naruto began to tell them the story about his grandmother when she came to this world and what occurred that time and that led to the birth of his father and his uncle and after that what occurred with his siblings and how he died and how he was reincarnated and what was going on now. Wait, hold on. So you mean we Uchiha's are somehow related to the Yugas? Fugaku said pointing towards Hiyashi. No offense, Hiyashi. No, none taken. I'm just quite surprised as you are. We thought we were rivals. No. Why would you think of that? My uncle and my father had quite a good relationship. My uncle stayed at the moon and... My father stayed here on earth. Guarding the ten tail husk was my uncle guarded, uh, acted as a prisoner warden for my mother, or grandmother. And you want to free your grandmother? Yes, I'm planning to, but first I have to take care of some people. As he suddenly disappeared and in a bright flash arrived in the Akarsky hideout. What are you doing here, Jinchuriki of the QB? Hmm. Nonetheless, you are here now, and all that it matters. And suddenly, with a snap of his finger, the chakra was drained from their bodies. What did you do? I'm taking away chakra from all of you, because you are nothing more than maniacs who want to destroy this world. Good luck now. Tobi, Kisame, Hidan, Kakazu, Deidara, Sasori, Konan, and Bane and his pots were quite surprised. They were now normal humans, nothing else, and Samehara even went away from Kisame. What is going on? Azetsu looked towards them. I'm sorry. It is the only way to prevent you guys from harming my 
harming my nephew. I'm leaving, Lyukotsky. After that, Zetsu disappeared. You traitor, said Payne. After that, Toby was scratching his head as he threw his mask on the ground. Damn you, Zetsu. She played with me. And suddenly, his soft body that was made out of white Zetsu started to fall to the ground because there was no chakra. As Obito howled in pain once again before he passed away, his body couldn't endure the pain because it didn't have any chakra in it. After that, Nagata passed away with his thanks to his sickness that he had. Conan and the rest of them left, while he done died because he wasn't a Jashinist anymore and Jashin took his soul as repayment of being his priest. After that, Naruto arrived to the moon as he break through the seal and threw away Tonari who was guarding it and freed his grandmother who hugged him really in re real life. It's good to meet you finally. Physically, Grandma, it's good to meet you too, Grandson. Now let's, let us go back. As Naruto arrived back with a yellow white flash, this time with his, with his Grandma, everyone meet Kaguya Suzuki, the mother of all Chakra, and my Grandma. Grandma, meet everyone, and my parents. As Kaguya floated towards both of them, who were fidgeting like children in front of her. Hmm, you have my approval. I will adopt you too, she said hugging both of them. I always wanted a daughter. As Krishna hugged her back. Um, thanks, Kachan? Yes, you can call me that. After that, time went by and... News started to spread out that the mother of all Chakra and her grandson's reincarnation was the son of Minato Namikaze, the Yellow Flash. And they resided in Konoha now and many villages started to form alliances with them. Because they didn't want them to face the same fate as the Karski. Their story also fall upon their ears as the kid has the power to strip a person out of chakra and that was quite fearful if not ability to lose chakra and not mold it any longer was quite terrifying to shinobis and after that, one day came and Sasuke and Kyomi had enough and were going to fight again just like his siblings and Naruto appeared in the center of them. But this time, Chakra enforced Ten, stopping their attacks. As after having a heavily scolded from their mother, both of them agreed and sorried each other as Sasuke married Sakura reluctantly as punishment from his mother. But he fell in love with her during the time and was happy with her and Kyomi and Naruto finally confessed their feelings to each other and started to date. After one year, they finally married each other and had a happy children named Saruto as they finally lived happily ever after. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this story of guys, I hope you like this one and if you do please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Chiha and I'm signing out.